going to look at a specific type of rates of change question, that being growth and decay. So let's have a look at the mathematics behind it then. And it's a very simple idea. So the first model that we're going to look at is a very simple model. So this is the two-unit model. And then after this we'll look at a three-unit model where we take into account other things. So in two-unit, basically the idea is that growth and decay is proportional to the population, which makes sense. The bigger the population, the more people that are going to be born, the more people that are going to die. So we take a very simplistic idea and say, well, the rate of change of the population with respect to time is some constant times the size of the population. Okay. Now, from there, I can come up with a formula. The right-hand side's in terms of P, so if I make my derivative in terms of P as well, so I change it to the T to P is 1 over KP. And I want to integrate... So t will become the integral. Now the constant I can take out the front, but I get to p on p. Well, we know that's log. Derivative on function, so 1 on p would be log p, plus some constants. Now, to work these constants out, I'll just play around with it a bit. So kt will be log p plus a constant. Uh, so log p is kt minus the constant. Now I want p to be the subject because I want a formula for the population so I'll uh, exponentialize both sides. So the population becomes e to the power of kt minus c um, but I'm going to break that up to be e to the kt times e to the power of negative c because remember c is just some constant. So e to the power of negative c is also just some constant value. So well now, now, the reason I box that is because actually they've taken all the fun out of this. Because what we can now do is say, well, if the p to c is equal to kp, we're allowed to just jump to the statement p is equal to some constant times e to the kt. We don't actually have to go and do the calculus. So it's rather strange when this topic is applications of calculus that we're not actually going to use the calculus, we're just going to jump there. But I, I've shown it to you so you can at least see where the equation comes from. We haven't just plucked it out of thin air. It is possible to derive this simple equation. The population is equal to AE to the KT. What do all these things stand for? So P is population at any particular time. A would end up being the initial population. Because that would be when T equals zero. So E to the KT would be zero. We'd just end up with A. Um, and K is our growth or decay constant, depending on whether the population is getting bigger or smaller. And T, of course, is time. All right, well, let's do an example of one then. So we've got some bacteria, and they love to grow really quickly. The growth rate per hour is 10% of the population. And the initial population is a million. So a million little pieces of bacteria. Just imagine we're just talking about the bacteria that is currently all over your skin. <coughs> There's a million pieces there. You can have good bacteria. They're not all bad bacteria. You can have good bacteria. <laughs> okay. Um, the first sort of standard question they then say is, well, look, show it as a solution. Now, you don't have to go and do all the calculus to show it as a solution. What I can do, and notice they've already inserted the K for us, 10% or 0.1 as a decimal. What I can do is use calculus, but in reverse, because all I have to show is that to B to T is some constant of the population. So P is AE to the 0.1 T. Well, if I differentiate that, I'll get 0.1 AE to the 0.1 T. Oh, look. I've got a constant times population. So I don't have to go through that whole process before. Um, I can simply show, hey, look, this equation works. So there is a little bit of calculus involved there. All right. What's that population? So remember, it's, it's crawling over you at the moment. There's a million pieces of bacteria. In three and a half hours, what's this bacteria going to do? So initially, we have a million. So we now know the formula is a million e to the 0.1t. It's just a matter of substituting in, really. It's a substitution question. And so it becomes 1,419,000. So almost a 50% growth in bacteria. 
So after three and a half hours, we now have 1,419,000 bacteria. And this is why we take medicine, because we don't want the bacteria to grow that quick. All right, let's do another one. Uh, so we're on an island back in 1960. Population, 1,732. Problem is on this island, the people don't like each other. And so in 1970, it's now only 1,260. They're just killing each other. They don't like. So what is the annual growth rate? Well, actually, it'll end up being a decay rate, assuming it's proportional to population. So right, they've told me I can assume to P to T is proportional to the population. From that, we're allowed to jump to the solution. So P is AE to the KT. Now let's work out all those constants. The initial population, well, they told me it was 1732. Um, when T is equal to 10, I can now work out the uh, decay constant. So if I sub that in, I get 1260 is 1732 e to the 10k. I just have to solve for k. So e to the 10k, log both sides, but now I can divide by 10. So one tenth the log of that fraction. So to the nearest percent, that's around about, it's decaying at about 3%. So there we go. Growth rate is actually negative 3%. All right, so in how many years will the population be half of that in 1960? Well, half of 1732 is 866. Now the K, I've just got stored in my calculator um, rather than writing the number there because it's you know, quite a large one. Don't use the approximation, use the exact value. So E to the KT, that formula there, T equals 1 on K log half, is actually the formula for half-life in anything. So radioactive decay, any sort of decay, and obviously depending on what you're talking about, the Ks change. In this case, it's a half-life of our population. So one on K log a half, we get 21.786. So again, that question, in how many years? Well, this one rounds up anyway, so it actually is no doubt that it's 22 years the population has halved. And then another 22 years it would halve again, another 22 years it would halve again, and until eventually there's only two people and you hope they like each other. So exercise 7.2.